Planning has changed for me since my father passed. Um, prior to his death, I was afraid to talk to my son about death. I was afraid to talk to him about my death in particular because I didn't want him to feel like he didn't have the security of a mother who would always be there for him. The difficulty now is realizing that that was a cop-out. That now I have to have those conversations in order for him to get the lessons that dad taught me. You know, that's a really big part of how I talk to Satchel. Um, I, I go through our finances and I talk about this money that's going to be here earning interest until you're 18. And then when you're ready to use it, it will be available to you and it'll be like a gift from grandpa. And so we talk about it that way. In life, it's just like that. So I talk to him about a lot of things as an investment. You gotta do the work necessary, invest the effort so that you will have a return that will be greater than what you put into it. A lot of folks who are middle class or working class, aspirational middle class, are actually sitting with resources and assets and property that sometimes they just don't know how to pass on to the next generation because they've worked so hard to get out of poverty and into a working class or middle class experience. What would happen if we actually took what we have seriously? I learned about compassion and choices um, when that was visceral and, and present for me in my day-to-day -day work. And in that day-to-day -day work, I always wanted to do something for those families. I wanted to help in some way. And I often felt entirely impotent to help with their pain. But I often think about what would have happened if that family didn't have to go put up a GoFundMe page because we were working with families who had no way to pay for the burial of their loved one. Coming from a legal background, I feel like I could do to help. It becomes that one thing, that one way that I might be able to lessen that mother's burden or dry that father's tears. I think for all of us, when we're grappling with our calling, our sense of purpose in this life, We've got to look at what we have. But we used to sing this song, we are climbing Jacob's ladder and every round goes higher, higher. That song was about what we needed to be about as a people, making sure that every rung goes higher and higher. Not that we make our children start from scratch like we did, 